everybody. It's Nelson here, but uh, yeah, Nelson's thoughts. So I'm going to upload this. I, I promised I'd upload this yesterday, but we're going to do it today. I was sitting on my on my other office chair right before I, I pressed the plunger, and I thought uh, I, I was told to install Google Assistant. That it, it would be so helpful for me. And um, no, 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 don't talk yet. No, no, don't, no, don't, no. I don't. I don't want to. So what I what I was think I'll cut that piece out. Uh, no, actually I'm gonna leave it. In. So anyways, Google Assistant. It, as soon as you say her name, it starts to record your voice and you know do the whole process. So what I what I did was I said, "What is the meaning behind drop a deuce?" Here are the top search results. No, it's not what you said. What is the meaning behind dropping a deuce? Here's what I found. No, it's not what you said. What does drop a deuce mean? According to the online sign dictionary, to defecate, from deuce meaning two and go number two meaning to defecate. Where is the bathroom? I gotta drop the deuce. See more words with the same meaning to defecate, poop, sh so we had the word beep shit <laughs> she's very polite and then it was uh, okay thanks for that you're welcome I love the way here is a matching video I love you Google Assistant aw thanks anything I can help you with How about my personal life? Here are the top search results. <laughs> and one of the top one of the top uh, search results is a dating service. <laughs> it's like, oh wow, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> okay, so are you awesome? You make me cool by association. So thanks. <laughs> Is that an insult or a compliment? Is that an insult or a compliment? Here are some results from the web. Am I awesome? You're cooler than David Bowie, Muhammad Ali, and Aretha Franklin playing pool on the Siberian tundra. <laughs> Thank you for that. No problem. But is it really? I'd like to help, but I'm not too sure. Well, maybe you should think about it. I don't understand. Do you understand anything? Here is a matching video. <laughs> I don't want a video. I want to talk to you. To stop talking with me, tap the back or home button. But I want to talk to you. I like talking with you too. I'm glad I can help. Do you like me? Absolutely. You're the best. Oh, gee, thanks. Just doing my job. So you're paid to say that you like me. So are you paid to say you like me? Do you really like me? Yes, a thousand times yes. Are you sure about that? I answer the best I can. But do you really? Do I what? Do you really listen to me? I only listen for OK Google, so I can be ready to answer. So you don't listen to me? I'm trying. Try harder. Here are some matching pictures.
<laughs> oh wow, she gave me a video, a, a photo of Try Harder. <laughs> Talking to you is like talking to a brick wall. Here you go, some matching pictures. <laughs> okay, so uh, I was talking to John Brewer yesterday, and one of my uh, the, uh, the after the yesterday's live chat, and one of the topics were that John knows that I do work in artificial intelligence, and I am programming an, an artificial or, or intelligent AI. Um, uh, of my own for Mardox and the, the, the topic came up and mine the way I'm programming it actually remembers a history of what was said just like a human being takes what is said and remembers it if I tell you I bought a red car and a month later I say yeah I gotta go fix my blue car you're most likely gonna turn around and say well wait a minute I thought you told me you had a red car I want my software to do the same thing whereas this one uh, she can only remember a word or a noun or a verb relative to the previous phrase and that's it. She doesn't go, I say she, it doesn't even go any further than that. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, uh, uh, do you really like me? But do you really like me? Do I what? It ends there. Uh, so the Mardox AI, which is called Alibot, A-L-I bot, which is artificial learning intelligence, and that the learning part is the important part there. Um, and it's nothing to be afraid of. It's uh, it, it's a project that's um, not going to take over the world. But I just want to show you real guys real quick the 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 uh, the app and how much fun you can have with it. Some people will sit there all day long recording conversations and seeing if they, you know they really do have a friend in a in a, in a bot. Um, I, I want to take it a little further. I uh, probably in 2018, 2019, I really want to roll it out and get our our community to start helping to uh, program the the bot. Um, and and it's exactly that. It's a bot. It's a program. It's a a piece of algorithm that just sits on a server. It doesn't ha control the server. It can't leave the server. And and in my next future videos, the tech ones, probably on the Mardox uh, Plus channel, I'm going to get more into. Uh, showing you guys what an AI is and how it's programmed and I, I'm hoping I can show people this and, and users, people on YouTube, others, uh, my dad who um, don't understand how AI works and are afraid that it, artificial intelligence is going to take over the world and it's not true. I don't think artificial intelligence, not the Google system, not the cloud learning, um, none of these systems are going to take over the world and there's a lot of reasons for that. One is human beings program safeguards in to even if a computer can learn millions of times faster than humans, uh, which it already does, they're not going to take over the world. We're going to have safeguards put in place. Uh, three, a computer can only take over the world if we give that computer access to those parts of the world. Some might say that the Internet of Things, uh, the, the, the computerized fridges and and microwaves and uh, all these gadgets that are all connected. Last time I checked, nobody ever has been killed by a, a, an online speaker that takes what you say and then basically does a virtual command based on what you say, like, like, the, like the bot. I will get into a video where I do want to show you guys what a, an AI framework is. Um, and I hope you guys will help us program Alibot. Uh, I think Alibot can become a really, really good programming tool uh, or assistant, as he's supposed to be, that will learn based around your likes and dislikes at Mardox, uh, for example, videos. If you come in and he might say, hey, I'm just wondering, what are your uh, what are your interests? Do you like YouTube? Yes. Cool. You just programmed into the, into the framework that you like YouTube. And then you'll, he will then suggest to you videos about YouTube. He might go further and say, do you, do you have a YouTube channel? And you might say, no, I don't. So he might, he might suggest to you videos on YouTube on how to create a YouTube channel. Or he might think, depending on what's been said, oh, you don't, like, you don't want to become a content creator, but you like watching YouTube. So instead of providing you videos of how to become a content creator, he'll say, here's channels that are at Mardox of other YouTubers that are putting out good content. You see, to really streamline the, the content and how it's being delivered to our members. So you see, it's not going to take over the world. If you don't want to click on, a, on an image or you don't want to click on a link, then, uh, oh my God, my, my, everything's going dark. 
If you want to click on a link or click on an image, just don't click on it. That's all there is to it. It's as simple as that. I'm going to leave you guys today with this uh, version of Nelson's Thoughts. I'm sure that's behind my scenes. Um, uh, I'm really feeling under the weather. I, one of the biggest things I got right now, uh, it's not an earache, really. It's more like a, uh, a constant high-pitched noise in one of my ears. i got to go get it looked at. And it had started yesterday, and it's like constantly and I think it's an ear infection but I got no pain and I'm not one to take medication just for the sake of taking medication I'd, I'd rather just wait and see if you know it goes away on its own it's either that or somebody out there is really really Nelson Buck is a scam he's a, he's a jerk he's an asshole and my ears ringing you know because of it and if that's the case could you please stop talking about me because my ears just ringing constantly you know it's like uh, okay, with that said, guys, I'm going to leave you guys go with that. Leave some comments below. Uh, please like, subscribe, and tell others about my uh, my videos. Uh, I will see you guys probably, probably, probably in a couple of videos. Talk to you guys soon.